we typically want to look for the low-hanging fruit first. So we want to identify use cases where the agent or human in this case, I guess it can be back office, front office agent or not, where the human is doing something that is repetitive. So we try to identify what is it that they're doing that is pure mouse clicks and pure keystrokes. We take those, we identify those processes and we try to automate and tackle those first. Uh, they will likely drive the most amount of value. The other thing that we do is obviously there is no you know, what is the best use? There's no right answer to the question, what is the best use case uh, to implement? Uh, the real answer is yes, as I've mentioned, those very highly repetitive, pure keystrokes and mouse clicks. But what we also do as a company, as part of our consulting services, is we also go to the contact centers and we go to the back office. We sit down with agents and back office workers and we try to identify their processes. We also have a component that we use that monitors the agent activity. So it's a combination of looking at the output of that tool that's really giving us a lot of data about what the agents are doing and how they're interfacing with those applications. Combined with personal interaction with those agents where we try to identify and, and or really to kind of map out what they're doing and, and what their processes look like. So it's gonna be really a function of looking at uh, or analyzing the results of that discovery uh, session, both the kind of more automatic tool-driven discovery as well as the more personal uh, touch that we have with the agents in which we try to identify uh, what they're doing and then we extract the use cases out.